today's video, I'm going to be showing you a Starbucks, Hello. what I like to call a fluffy drink. Um, it's, so it's a Starbucks cup that has like whipped cream and stuff on it, and so that's why I call it a fluffy drink. But it's got all this like fluff on top of it inside the little container. The classic green straw. I did not paint a logo on the actual cup because it is a little aquarium, so the glitters do move around in there a little bit. With the straw, kind of hinders the movement. It doesn't give you as much space for the glitter to move, but it still is that aquarium type of a design. And then I do have the Starbucks logo over the background to really make it Starbucks official. So, if you like Starbucks and all of that jazz, I hope you love this design, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. Bye! So we're going to begin with an overlay of a grass green glitter acrylic, and this one is like the perfect Starbucks type color. It also is very nice for Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas too, it's a good one just for that as well. I actually consider it one of my Christmas greens, but then we're going to be encapsulating this nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure that A, that glitter is nice and protected and that the nail is strong. So those are the two main reasons to encapsulate. And then we're going to be filing this nail into shape with, the, with my e-file. After that, we're going to be painting a section of the nail with clear builder gel. So the rest of this design is all done with various types of gel. So if you wanted to do this design completely 100% gel, you would have just had to do the background of this nail with gel versus acrylic. So after we have that little base of the cup done, we're going to cure it and then just file it gently on the edge on the edges to make sure that they're nice and straight. And then on the top of an eyedropper, we're going to be painting a half dome of clear builder gel as well so that we have kind of the top of the dome part of the cup done so just apply that clear gel do one or two coats um, if you depending on the texture of your gel I found that two worked best for mine and then glue those two pieces together so that you have the top of the cup that has that dome shape and then the base of the cup as well and if you need to you can file those in shape ignore the fact that I have white gel in there just yeah we'll get to that point but you're going to just file a little bit out of the top of that dome shape to have the opening for the straw on a piece of wire, paint it with green gel polish, then top coat, and then cut that off for your straw. Then within the cup, you're going to take some white poly gel and fill that in for the foam. So just apply that in there and then kind of work it around a little bit to try to get it to fit in the right spot. Press your straw into the white poly gel to have the straw go through the foam. And then on a nail form backing, we're going to sculpt a flat piece of just clear poly gel for the back of this. Sculpt that as thin as you can, press it out really, really thin, and then apply some gel top coat that is no wipe on top of it so that there will be no tacky layer. Then press your little cup into that. Once that's cured, you can trim off any extra gel, save one of those pieces of gel, the largest one for the bottom of the cup, but otherwise just cut off all that extra gel so that you have less filing and then file the sides so that there isn't any extra lumpiness around from where you added the back of your cup. File it with a hand file. Don't use any file because it'll file too fast. Once that is done, then you're going to fill in the bottom of your cup or fill in your cup from the bottom with your glitter of choice. So this can be kind of a caramel color or a chocolatey brown or even a black glitter if you want to be black coffee. And then glue that piece of the poly gel that you saved from the outside edge, glue that to the bottom. And then once that's glued to the bottom, take some more builder gel and just make sure there are no leaks around the edges. Cut off the extra acrylic or extra gel again once it's cured and file it once more just to make sure that all of those lines are nice and smooth and they all line up very well. And there's no kind of weird edges or ledges anywhere that don't belong there. Okay, now you're going to file a small hole or drill a small hole through the bottom of the cup brush off the extra dust, and then fill the cup with some oil. And I'm using a baby oil that has a very slight yellowish color to it. In the small amount that ends up in the nail, you don't see that yellow color, but even if you did, it wouldn't really damage this particular design because it kind of plays into that caramel color. So it works out, cleanse off any extra oil that there is, and then you're going to want to fill in the hole with some more clear poly gel. And clear poly gel is actually one of the best things to fill that hole with because it'll plug the hole very effectively and not drip down anywhere. Once you're all done making your little cup, then you can glue it to the nail and then apply some gel top coat over the entire thing so that you can really see through it and that gel it has such nice clarity and you can really see all the details of the glitter inside and then taking a puffy gel I'm going to be adding a little ridge to the edge where the cap of the cup at, um, sits on the, the actual cup part just give it a little bit more of a 3d look and now with some either gel paint or acrylic paint we're going to be adding the logo in the background I am using acrylic paint that is my personal preference and over the top of that 
uh, acrylic background on the nail. The acrylic paint just seems to go on a little smoother than gel paint in my personal opinion. If you would prefer to use gel paint, which is, like I said, personal opinion, I might consider applying some gel-based coat before doing the paint so that it applies with a little bit more smoothness than just directly on top of the acrylic. But whatever works for you, works for me. So then after you have that circle done for the start of your Starbucks logo, you're going to paint the little Starbucks lady. And then, so you're going to do her body and then her head. And if any of your lines get a little bit uneven, since there is a lot of very small detail in this, and you do want that green background color to show through, but if somewhere along the line, something goes wrong, what you can do is you can use a very similarly colored green either gel polish, gel paint, or acrylic paint and fill in the details and kind of clean things up. And it's not really going to show in the end. So don't worry about it if that does, if that does happen, it's not a huge deal. So add all of those details to this and you'll see that I didn't do her facial features. I am planning to just do those with a green color of acrylic paint, but if there's any more spots that need it, that's fine too. So take your dark green color of acrylic paint, clean up any lines you need to, and add her facial features. The first time I actually painted this logo twice because the first time I tried to leave those facial features just without painting them in, just try to leave them so the background color shows through and that's almost impossible. So I decided to abort that mission and do it over again, but then finish the nail with a layer of matte gel top coat in the background. And this is it. I absolutely love this nail. It is so cute. And anytime you can play with your nails, whether it be something, a magnetic design or a design like this, where there's some aquarium elements, it just makes it so much more fun to wear. So I hope you guys love this one as much as I do. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram, and I will see you next time. Bye.